everybody, Dr. Mike here. In this video, we're going to compare and contrast the endocrine system with the nervous system. Why? Both are means of communication within the body. Now, let's have a look at a table I've drawn up. Firstly, we're gonna have a look at some features of both the nervous system and endocrine system and see what's similar and what's different. If we look at the method of communication that each uses, the nervous system uses nerves or neurons and these nerves or neurons release neurotransmitters. Okay, now neurotransmitters are just chemicals that are released by neurons and nerves. If we look at the endocrine system, instead of it being neurons or nerves, it's actually glands or cells and the chemical they release are hormones. Now these chemicals can be water soluble or fat soluble and I'll talk about those in a future video. Now if you have a look, what I've got here is a neuron releasing its neurotransmitters to its target. Now what is the target for the nervous system? The target can be other neurons, it can be muscles to tell them to contract or inhibit the contraction or glands. Now when it comes to the endocrine system, its target is actually any cell in the body that has a receptor for that hormone. So what that means is, as you can see here for the endocrine system, cells or glands, and this is what the endocrine system does, it has cells or glands that release chemicals termed hormones into the bloodstream for distribution around the entire body. So that means when we look at the nervous system compared to the endocrine system, which one do you think is faster? Well, the nervous system's faster because it's direct. It sends an electrical signal down an axon of a neuron, which then turns into a chemical signal. But for the endocrine system, it's always a chemical signal, and it's a slow signal moving through the body. In actual fact, the nervous system being rapid is milliseconds to seconds. The endocrine system is a lot slower, seconds to minutes it takes for it to have its effect. If we have a look at the range of effect, what you'll find is the nervous system is very specific and localized because that neuron or nerve is basically a direct highway to something specific, to a specific muscle or gland or some sort of tissue, okay? Now with the endocrine system, because it's releasing hormones into the bloodstream, the bloodstream goes everywhere in the body. It's widely dispersed, it's widespread, okay? Now, when it comes to the duration of response, how long will the tissue respond to the stimulus? with the nervous system being the neurotransmitter, with the endocrine system being the hormone. Well, when it comes to the nervous system, it's very short term, milliseconds. What you'll find is when the, new, when the neuron releases its neurotransmitter in the synapse, there's gonna be enzymes there that recycle and reuse those neurotransmitters and pull them back into that neuron that just released them, okay? That happens very, very quickly, milliseconds. When you look at the endocrine system, what you'll find is that the bloodstream will slowly release these chemicals into the area outside of the bloodstream called the interstitium, and it takes a lot longer for these chemicals to be reused and recycled. In actual fact, the effects of the endocrine system can be minutes to days to weeks, and it can even persist after the stimulus has finished. In actual fact, what we've got here is a gland or cells that have released a hormone into the bloodstream, and what can actually happen is the cells that release the hormone that hormone can act upon those same cells. That's called an autocrine response. Or those cells can react or engage with receptors on cells that are close by. That's called paracrine. Or it can act on cells that are very distant within the body. And that's just the normal endocrine response. So this is the basic differences between the nervous system and the endocrine system.